Morning, my morning, he awakens me, opens my ear, awakes my understanding. Morning, my morning, he awakens me, ready to learn from him. Good morning and welcome to Morning by Morning on Wednesday, March the 24th. We continue to think about the past 12 months and our COVID journey. Now that we are one year on from the first lockdown. I remember going to command at baths with my primary class and learning to swim. I loved it. I remember the amazing day the instructor told us that if we lay on our back and breathed in, filled our lungs with air and just lay there, we would float. Well, I didn't believe a word he said. I wasn't going to try that. Then he demonstrated it, but um, I don't think I believed him still. I thought, nah, nah, you're, you're treading water gently with your feet or your legs or your hands. There's no way that I can just lie here and not sink to the bottom of the pool. But he kept demonstrating it and then other people tried it and they seemed to get on okay. So I thought, right, I'll give this a try. So filled my lungs with the light stuff with just plain old oxygen air and lo and behold I was floating. As long as you don't panic, flail your arms about, you'll be fine. And he was quite right. I have to say just to prove that he was, uh, I googled these facts online and it's true. I also discovered the strange fact that um, women float much better than men? No comment. Breathe in, take in the light stuff and it will literally keep your head above water, stop you from sinking. This past year has been full of the heavy stuff. Pain, grief, frustration, regret, worry, fear. Each one like a ton weight that we've had to carry around with us. We have of course known ourselves held up, supported by those around us and by the love and strength of the Lord. Praise God. We've also, I'm sure, been kept afloat by taking in the light stuff breathing in the lighter air of the things that stop us from sinking. The light stuff, fun, laughter, leisure, things we enjoy, exercise, being in God's creation, being kind to ourselves, to others, chilling out. Of course, we had to be quite inventive since many of the ways of Breathing in the light stuff, especially those involved in helping us to do that, were people that we couldn't meet with, people outside our household. But from getting in touch with our creative side, lots of knitting, cooking, DIY, learning something new, to posting jokes on Facebook, and going out for a lot more walks around the neighbourhood, Breathe in the right stuff, we did. Praise the Lord, who made our lungs for air and our hearts for laughter. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. So in my swimming lessons, 
I trusted the instructor more and more and more and had a great time filling my lungs with air and just floating. It's one of the most relaxing feelings in the world just to float in a swimming pool. I wasn't too sure way back then about the deeper water, but I had help. In the shape of a rubber ring, armbands had not been invented then. And lo and behold, nestled, encircled inside this ring filled with the light stuff, I could go anywhere and stay afloat with the best of them. We give thanks over the past year for those who have helped us in different ways, be the medicine, the cheerful heart, cheering us up, being our companions, our chums, phoning us, yes, and even those Facebook funny pictures and funny jokes have kept us afloat. And at a deeper level, the joy of the Lord has given, given us a buoyancy of spirit that has kept us from sinking down in those times when we feel the heavy weight of the problems that COVID-19 brought into our lives. COVID-19 isn't going anywhere fast. We still face difficult times. There may even be more waves of an increase in the virus, new and more difficult to deal with strains and variants. The problems of readjusting to outside life when that time comes, plus all the old problems of the past year still with us, social distancing and other regulations that keep us apart. Breathe in the light stuff. Our hearts were designed by God, our Father, for laughter, for humour, for fun. In the same way that our lungs were decide, de designed for air. Most of Jesus' stories have a very funny side to them. The Old Testament is full of laughter and good cheer, and God's word is peppered with puns and wordplay. Sometimes it's hard work being a cheerful heart or a cajoler, or a morale booster, but in God, the God of joy, the God whose idea was laughter, in him we have help with the light stuff. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for all the things that brighten our day and lift our spirits, the things and people that make us laugh, the songs and music that bathe our souls, the exercise, creative activities, learning, hobbies that refresh and renew us. Thank you for the gift of joy that the Holy Spirit brings, the joy we have in the knowledge of Jesus' love for us. Help us to continue to encourage each other in faith and fun. Help us to know, to find what makes us and others rise above the heaviness of the situations we face. We name before you now those we know who are downhearted, who find it difficult to breathe in the light stuff. We make our prayers to you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, 
and again I say rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice.